What is going on, people? Welcome. Johnny here, and we're going to start another round of RimWorld. Last one didn't go so well. Model list is exactly the same. It'll be posted in the description for this episode. I've added prepare carefully as well. And some people were commenting that perhaps this is not possible <laughs> the way I tried to do it. And I think that might be right. So what I'm going to do is instead of doing naked brutality, we'll do crash landed. So we start with a few extra people. So our ideology is cemented more. Last time I had one person who had poor social skill. So our ideology sort of faded away. So what we're going to do is go Blood and Dust on Cassandra. Okay. Oh, yeah, sure. All right. 100%. And we'll call this one Take Two. And we have too many factions as well. I'm going to turn off somebody I don't want. Let's turn off the Fierce Tribe. Okay. And... I'm going to jack up the population a bit, too, just so we have more people around. So the goal of this, like last time, is to have a big multiracial faction and using the Rimhammer of the End Times races, so dwarves, skaven, ogres, the like, and then... Uh, getting a spaceship and getting off the planet. This is a pretty cool map gen, actually. I've never seen one like this. So wherever we go, the damn thing's going to spawn on the other side of the planet. So the goal is to get set up, do a mad amount of research, and prep for the trip when we finally get the journey quest. And I'd like some decent trading partners. There's been some tweaks to the Skaven mod. I've removed the Skaven Traders faction and a bunch of other stuff. That mod's super close to getting released finally to the public. So let's see where I want to end up. I think we'll start down here. Location can be seen here. So we're in the far south of the planet. I don't know why I always do that to myself, but that's how it goes. Large hills, no caves, trading partners, no enemies to beat up on. Beastmen are rather far away. They're the best enemies to beat up on for wealth building. But that'll be fine. So last time I had a lot of problems with ideology. But I think... Mm, develop it over time. Let's go with this one. I think we can do it since we have more pawns at the get-go here. We could do... And a pre-existing one, but and we'll just create a custom. So I'm gonna shoot for something Warhammer slash Rimhammer themed. So we'll do an embodied theist, Xenophilia. Since we're trying, that'll actually benefit us. We're trying to get people of many different races, and that'll be great. And I don't know. Last time I got kind of frustrated with the transhumanists <laughs> and the age reversal demands. Which, it's not that big of a deal, but a sleep accelerator would be nice. Neural supercharge. When you get a lot of food, that's fine, but... Eh, I mean, we are going for a futuristic game, so maybe that's the way to go. Eh, let's just go human primacy. Maybe transhumanist too. So what is this? Prevents ritual burning. Bonding is disapproved. This one, they get really needy. I think I'm going to turn transhumanist off. <laughs> You know how frustrating it is most of the time we exalt alien races. Not a big fan of slavery, so let to bear that in mind. I'm going to look through this and just make sure there's nothing terrible. They don't like fungus, which is good. So as we recruit people, anyways, we will... Uh, I'm going to add a third ritual, too. Is there like a Christmas something? Dance party, festival, a Christmas tree party. Okay, we have to add a Christmas tree as well. Let's get rid of this thing. All right, there we go. Relics. I don't want it to be a one-use weapon. This is fine, and this is fine. I also don't want it to be a beast man weapon. Sadly, not all the weapons show up here. I'd really like to, like to make it one of the magical dwarven melee weapons, but since they're not present... 
I don't know, a good old-fashioned assault rifle, perhaps. That would be a nice relic. I'm going to get rid of this. I don't really care about that. Venerated animals. I always had a cat. <laughs> uh, the British short hair seems cool. Preferred apparel, none. Hair and beards, fine. All right, I think now... So what I'm going to do is... Um, the only thing I'm going to muck around with in terms of prepare carefully is if I find some... Ooh, that guy's lower metal master. Then we can remove these issues. I don't want, like, super pawns to start with. I think it's already going to be significantly easier. Would be nice to start with some magic, but perhaps I'll do one of the lores I haven't got to muck with yet. Also, I think we can do different races. Let's just go try it. So, where does it so show that? <laughs> I didn't see it anywhere, but we might be able to generate one this way. I did see a dwarf show up at one point. Prefer not to start with all humans. Oh, that was a halfling. Alright, so I removed some passions, made sure everybody had at least some social skill, and then I made the female who came with Venom Fangs. Uh, I'm tempted to just get rid of that, but <laughs> it's fine. Uh, I made her an ogre wizard, so she has got magic now. These are all the other things she can't be because of that. <laughs> that bananas. <laughs> anyway, let's do it. All right, well, that's going to be it for episode zero. Last time we kept getting two ancient dangers on every map. This time, I don't see any. Is this... I guess this marshy soil is growable, but is there really no ancient danger here? And we might happen upon it eventually. A lot of stuff going on. It's an interesting map. Perhaps I'll settle like this general area because are there any more of these about? Oh, that's tough. Oh, there's one down there. We will have to figure it out. Please leave a like if you're into what I'm doing. Comment do read them all I do respond check out episode one where the action begins there's two down here just not a lot of cropland 